I'm going to eat this banana for recess. Oh, Xiang Jiao. Oh. Hey, Tao. Hey, Mochi. Ni yo Xiang Jiao ma? Wo mei yao. Mei yao? Mei yao. Sun yao. Well, hello everyone, I'm back. Um, I can't find Rudy anywhere. Um, and the bananas are going missing at my place too. So he might be behind it, I think. So anyway, I've come here to school to have a look for him, um, but can't see him here either. Anyway, we'll continue on with our lesson. There's just one more thing we need to do. Today we're going to be making a sigua. So you will need a piece of paper a texter or something to um, draw with and you will need a pair of scissors as well so let me show you how we're going to make this it's going to involve a lot of just easy folds and a bit of easy drawing as well so the very first thing you need to do is get your piece of paper and fold it in half make sure that the corners match and I'm folding it in half uh, long ways like this. Okay, so it folds in. Just making sure that my corners match and then we are ready to go. Okay, now on your piece of paper there's a, there's a part that you open up, a bit like a book, and then you've got what we call the spine of the book or the folded part as well. Um, so we're going to draw a line across here. Now I'm going to start at the folded part and draw a line straight across it. Let me show you. Now, if you find that I'm going too fast, that's okay. What you can do is you can pause this um, YouTube video and rewind it a little bit and you can play it again, just so you get all the instructions. So here's our first part. I've drawn a line from the fold out to about here. And this is the side that you open up, okay? Now, the next thing I need to do is draw a curvy line like that. So it's going to look like this. Okay, so that's my second line. If it looks, if you look at it this way, it looks a bit like a shark's fin, doesn't it? Do, 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 do. But like this, this is half a watermelon or half a piece of watermelon. Okay, now, now that we've got that, keep this folded. Uh, now that now you've drawn that side, keep this part folded. We're going to get our scissors and I'm going to cut out along these folded lines. And so not along the folded lines, along the lines that I've drawn. Okay, so just cut out along here, like so. And we're nearly done. Okay, when I open this up, here it is. When I open it up now, you'll find it's like a whole slice of watermelon shape, just like what I've got here. So it's nearly done. So the next thing I'm going to do is draw a line just to go along next to the outside. And this is like the, the rind or the edge of the watermelon, you know, the green bit that we don't eat. So you've got the pink or red part that you eat that tastes really good then you've got the green part the, the outside of the watermelon that you put on the compost or you give to the chooks or something like that uh, when i had chooks they they really liked this part of the watermelon they peck it all day so this is this line here that goes just around the outside now two more things to do the next thing i want you to do is to write the word shigua on your watermelon so you're going to need to write X and I, and I'll show you how that looks. X and I, and then you need that tone line just above the eye, the one that goes long and straight. Here it is. And now you need gua, which is G, U, and A. And there's gua, and I just need another tone line to go above the A. There we go. So that gives us our si qua. Okay. Now, just a few pips. So to do a pip, I do a raindrop shape like that. And I reckon I'll do five. I'm going to do five raindrop shapes. And then you can colour them in black 
or maybe color them in very dark blue if you've got a very dark blue texture like a navy blue but black's probably the best one then you can color them in you've got your shigua and so i'm just going to color them in very quickly like this so they look like that and then when you've done that you can add your colors so you can color in the the red part or the pink you can color in the middle the part that you eat you know the one and color that red or pink and you can color the outside of it green and then you've got this fantastic picture of a sigua that you can put on you can pin up on your wall you can put it on the fridge with with a magnet you can show everyone at home show them what you've been up to doing okay so fantastic so that's your craft for today well done i think i better go look for rudy um i hope he's okay Okay, Zajian for the moment, I will, I will be back before to say see you later before this uh, lesson finishes. Look what I've got! Ooh! <laughs> well, Zajian Tong Shui, have a great week. We'll see you next week. And Bao Zhong, take care. Ni hao go. Dribble chi, ni yo shang jiao ma, yo shang jiao, wo me yo shang jiao, shang jiao zai na, shang jiao, oh, me yo shang jiao.